Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a CMOS checksum error press del2. Enter setup. A CMOS checksum error is a conflict between the CMOS and BIOS that happens when you boot up a computer. It occurs when the computer isn't able to read startup information or the data does not match up. We explain what causes a CMOS checksum error and offer instructions for troubleshooting. And fixing the problem, reset the BIOS. Some motherboards have a switch either on the board or on the back of the computer to reset the BIOS settings. If there isn't a switch like that, remove the CMOS battery from your system for a minute or two. The loss of power causes everything in the CMOS to reset. Replace the CMOS battery. If the cause is a dead battery, all you need is a new one. The CMOS battery is located on the computer's motherboard. On desktops, it's easy to get to, and it's only held in place with a metal clip. It Connect the AC power cord to the power supply, and then turn on your computer. Now, you should try to boot, and don't forget to reset the time and date in the BIOS. Settings. Again, simply go to the BIOS settings in the same way as before and go to the BIOS. Settings and set the date and time and press F10 on keyboard, and save the BIOS settings. After that you can turn off the system for a while and turn on the computer so that there will be no problem or no error. Now turn off the computer and turn off the main switch and turn it on again after 5 minutes see if you have the same problem then follow me. Mine is the first thing we will do resetting the BIOS to default values, clear CMOS. Battery, there is a CMOS memory on board that is powered externally from a battery located on the motherboard to save system configuration data. If you want to clear the system configuration, set the jumper to clear the CMOS memory. The exact location of the jumper can be found in the motherboards or computers manual. You should consult the manual for more detailed instructions if you want to use the motherboard jumper. However, the basic process is fairly similar on all computers. Flip the computer's power switch to the off position to ensure it's not receiving any power. Open the computer's case and locate the jumper named something like clear CMOS, clear, C, LR CMOS, password, or CLRPWD, it will often be near the CMOS battery mentioned. Below, after finding the jumper pin, use a small screwdriver to short the CMOS jumper pins and hold the jumper pin with the screwdriver for 5 to 10 seconds, then remove the screwdriver. From the jumper pins after that plug the power cord in and try powering on the computer as you normally would, then turn on the computer and go to BIOS settings, fix the time date and press F10 to save the BIOS settings. After that, when the computer turns on, hopefully you won't have any more problems. If there is still any problem then you think there is something wrong with the BIOS setup, call a computer expert for this. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.